Hi guys, back here again to talk about some dolls. If you're new here, this is just my channel where I like to go over new or upcoming fashion doll releases to just give my thoughts and opinions while keeping you all updated on the happenings in the doll world. Now, Diabald's Toy Emporium just down the road got a great new shipment of dolls and I'm so excited to talk about them, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So first, we have this lovely girl from Simon and Halbig. Now, first off, I'm pretty sure that's a wool wig and not a human hair one, and I think we all know how the community feels about wool and hair by now. And it's like, yeah, she's cute, but we've kind of seen this before, haven't we? Like, the white lace dress, the blue ribbon, we get it. It's nothing new, and for how long Simon and how big has been in the game and how big they've become recently, I I guess I just expect more from them. Like, if I saw her in the toy shop window on a, a crisp December morning, I would not stare wistfully at her with my hands on the glass and say, that one, papa, she's perfect. I would probably just walk right by her without a second thought. I think I would rather just spend the money on a hoop and stick. So maybe I just need them to step up their game a little more and stop with the, the woolen hair. Next, we have something from Heinrich Handwerk, who is not a toy maker I'm super familiar with. I do see some people saying some good things about them, though, and I definitely see why. Like, hello, I know I just had the whole spiel about white lace, but this, this is how you use it. Like, all the other girlies at the tea party are jealous of this one. I just know it. They are preying on her downfall. They are manifesting that her stepmother seizes her inheritance and sends her to live with her distant relatives on a farm in Germany. She's gorgeous. Maybe a little out of our price range, though, but maybe I can pull a few extra hours at the factory. I know little Timmy keeps taking all the overtime because his mother got cholera and they can't afford a doctor or whatever, but like, leave some for the rest of us, right? All right, and next we have this girl from Jumeau, and I see some people in the community say that Jumeau is a little overrated, and I guess I don't entirely disagree, but I can also see why they're so popular. Like, I love the hair color, and I can tell just from looking at her that this is real human hair. See, that's why the people like Jumo, they're not cheapening out on us. I think she has a, a very classy, very subdued kind of elegance. She looks like a good friend, I guess I should say. If I was going to choose, like, just a doll to accompany me at boarding school after Papa gets drafted into the war, it would probably be her. I think she would be really comforting to have after the headmistress develops a personal grudge against me for being too imaginative and whimsical. Before we continue on, though, just a word from today's sponsor, Dr. Rose's Arsenic Complexion Wafers. Guaranteed, absolutely safe and harmless. Okay, so if you haven't caught on yet, happy April Fools. I did take a little break from uploading because it's March and seasonal allergies love to hit me like a truck every single year, but I just wanted to do something stupid, I guess, to celebrate the season. I'll be back with my regularly scheduled normal content soon, I promise. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter if you celebrated, or just a wonderful new springtime if you don't. Either way, I hope the pollen isn't trying to actively murder you like it is for me. Oh, I don't... I don't even know how to sign this one off. Um, let me know your feelings on the woolen hair versus human hair debate. How do you feel about the trend of, of white lace? I don't know. Whatever's on your mind, let it out in the comments. Have a wonderful week, and go out and get those dolls.